Welcome to our channel my friends. Thank you for being here. On our channel here at Realize Guyana we do all little traditional Guyanese recipes. Today will be one such recipe. Again we have done dude piti which is your official milk and roti recipe. And a lot of people didn't know there was actually a recipe for milk and roti. But we did that one and today we are doing a similar recipe and this one is uh, dal piti. Mom is going to be doing this recipe for us. This is an old recipe. Some of you guys I'm pretty sure don't know of this or, or can't remember it. So for this recipe we're going to be using one and a half cups of all purpose flour. We're going to be using one tablespoon roasted ground jira, half a tablespoon baking powder, half a cup of split peas, yellow split peas, two cloves of garlic and pepper to taste. And that's the ingredients we need for this dal piti. So let's get started guys. Alright guys, so the first thing we are doing here is we turn our stove on and we're gonna we have put about seven cups of water to heat for our dal. And we're gonna let that hot while we gonna get our oil stuff ready. So our water is hot now guys and mom is gonna wash the dal to add it to the pot to boil. So she's gonna add some salt to this. So we're just gonna cover that now and let it boil. So we're gonna pound the garlic and the pepper in this mortar. So how many of you guys have heard of dal piti before or, or how many of you have had it before? Let us know in the comments. Does anyone in your household still make this? Uh, do you have your nanny? Your nanny still make it for you? pretty fine. So she's going to add it to the pot of dal now. There you go. Okay guys, so we're going to add a bit of turmeric also to this uh, dal. Give it some color. I didn't show that at the beginning, but we're going to add that now. Just about that much. And you cover that back now. Alright my friends, so it's been a while and our dal has boiled. You can see it has reduced by a lot. So mom is saying she's going to add a little bit more water here right now. So she's adding 3 quarter cup more water now. So it's going to be 7 and 3 quarter cups water total. So that's it. So we're going to go get the dough ready needed for this. So the amount of water we are using for the dough to begin with, it's uh, one cup of water we are beginning with. That's our baking powder. So as usual you are going to mix your baking powder into your flour. And then you're going to start adding your water gradually. So this dough is needed like a sadder roti dough. Alright my friends. So that dough is ready, that's all the water she used and there's uh, one third cup left here so she used two third of a cup of water for this dough. Okay my friends, so the dough is ready now and mom says we have to leave it for about five minutes to rest and then we'll continue. Alright guys, so mom is going to add the roasted ground jira to our dal now and mix that in. Alright guys, so I just wanted to show you how thick, uh, thin this dal has to be when you're ready to put the dough inside. This, this thin here. So we actually had to add some more water because it was getting too thick. 
before before it was completely boiled. So this is how it should be. So if you have to add a bit more water by the time you're ready to put your dough in, do so. We ended up from the beginning we added seven cups of water as, as I said. Uh, we ended up adding two cups more, so which is about nine cups of water to get this thickness at the end. All right. So right now we have our stove on very low because we are about to go make the dough to put it in here. All right. Okay, so time to cut us up now to put in our dal. Now that's how you cut it. So here are all our pieces cut up. So mom is going to begin adding them there. So all our dough pieces are in now. As you can see that's swelling already. Look at that, just seconds. So we're gonna cover this now and let it cook for a bit. So this needs to be cooked for about five to six minutes now and then it's gonna be done. And as you can see, these have risen so much already, the dough. Okay, so we'll cover this back. Alright my friends, so 5 minutes is up and our dal piti should be done, ready. There you go, look at that. Oh man, I want to eat that right now, I want to try that. Wow. So there it is guys, dal piti. Something I'm pretty sure a lot of you have never had or heard about. Only a real nice guy and my friends. Alright my friends, so this is just a little bit after we finish. So you see, this here has gotten a bit too thick. And as you can see, the, the roti pieces, they have way safe fall back. So it's not fluffy as it was when we added it in. And this is the way it should be. It should be solid and like fall, fall back, not plump and, and, um, and soft. So this is the way it should be. So this is a bit too thick now. Mom says, so we're gonna add a bit of water to dilute this. So this is still a bit hot. But we've removed it from the heat. So if it does get a little bit thick, it's not gonna be much. So and this is how it is now, as you can see. So that's the way it should be. That's how thick it should be. Alright. So there you go. Dal PT is ready. Another traditional Guyanese recipe right here on Real Nice Guyana. If you like this recipe, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Please click the bell icon so you get notifications whenever we post new videos. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.